some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Michigan once again. It's, it's always Michigan with these soft tarts. Why is it always Michigan? Well, most of the time, anyway. But at any rate, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Slavin as he ends up taking on Eric Martin, who appears to already be in jail over something. And, uh, well, he gets very confused about... What case he's trying to address in this video? Uh, well, when you're a soft hard, you're always going to be confused about the law anyway, so why not? So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Eric Martin, camera one. All yeah, right. I'm not the defendant, Eric Martin. I'm uh, living this in this case. That's Eric Martin. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. I mean, did they offend you by calling you a defendant when that is essentially what you are right now? You're a defendant in a case that's been brought against you? Uh, we forgot that you are not the corporate being as well, that you're the living man. Uh, so, but who cares? You're a defendant, dumbass. This is case 231510. People of the city of Taylor versus Eric Martin. And Jeffrey Fanto, the court asked me to verify that Mr. Martin would be presenting himself without the assistance of attorney. That appears to be his position, Judge. All right. So, Mr. Martin, you are um, waiving the House counsel? Yes, due to, so I'm not fraudulently assumed to be the defendant. A living man, not the legal fiction corporate entity defendant, which I couldn't possibly be. I don't do the canon law being, you know, unfair. It's going to, you guys fraudulently assume that if I take an attorney. So that's. Okay, you're already off to a bad start here, dude. You're calling this place canon law, pretty much, which is Catholic law. Uh, if you want to go with canon law, you go to the Vatican. But I'm sure you already know that. I'm sure that was just more of a diss than anything else. But congratulations, dude. If you didn't know that, then you're a total moron because your 30 years of law study have been a complete waste of time. The unfairness why I can't accept the attorney because of that. Sure. All right. And you understand all of your constitutional rights? Um. I do my best to. I've been studying practicing law for 28 years. All right. That's, um, all right. So it um, looks like this is uh, ready to be set for a uh, jury trial. Is that right? Yeah, but I want a jury trial of my peers means of the sovereign people, not uh, U.S. citizen uh, slaves who most probably everyone of the jury probably say they are. So. That's not going to happen. I mean, you got to have a, a random selection of people on the trial. Otherwise, it's not going to be a fair and impartial jury. They can't be automatically on your side, you doofus, because what you're saying would definitely be a constitutional violation right there. And you want to say that you're a constitutional man? Yeah, that's a load of bullshit right there. And the slave uh, comment? Yeah, uh, dude. Uh, join us in the 21st century because you're way off base with that one. I won't begin okay. to turn my if I don't get... Uh, well, as, oh, now as, the, as, as the individual who determines questions of law, that's me. Um, I will uh, make sure that uh, it is a, a jury of your peers. So, and I'll determine the, I'll determine that. So, we will have this uh, set, and then uh, I'll mail out the date for the jury trial. The I believe there is a date set for next Tuesday for the jury trial in this matter. All right, I guess see that. I have objections. Uh, I, I cannot probably prepare for trial in this jail. I've been illegally denied my uh, right, constitutional right to a personal bond, even though it's my constitutional right because it's part of my right to be innocent before guilty. Uh, it's been denied so far. I have no money to pay for a bond to get out of here. So that's especially why I also should be given a personal bond. And like I said, I cannot. Uh, 
probably prepare for one in here. Oh, you poor little moron, you. You can't uh, get a fair shake in that jail. Uh, you can't find a, a proper law library within there. Uh, maybe you should ask around. Maybe you should actually uh, talk to people. Maybe you could get access to that kind of thing in there if you actually talk to people. I mean, there's a lot of people in those jails that get the proper uh, legal uh, material that they need. I mean, what's your excuse? You know? So you, you're you in there for a different matter, because I set your bond at $100 personal before on this matter. So it's the whatever's keeping you in jail isn't this case. So we'll see. You. Well, um, I understand, though, that you do need to prepare for trial. I get that part. So we'll go ahead and adjourn the uh, jury trial. When are you, what is your out date um, where, 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 with whatever you're doing there? There is no out date. That's the thing. It's uh. so is this about the um, moped case? Yeah, this is driving on a, this okay, is driving while your license is. I wasn't sure, right. They got me legally confined right now in the domestic violence. No evidence at all. Hey, Eric. Have you not learned in your 30 years of law study that you're not supposed to talk about other, other cases while you're in the court for another case, you bloody moron? I mean, you don't want to corrupt the integrity of those cases. I mean, come on now, dude. As a 30-year law expert, as you claim to be, this should be second nature to you by now. Unless uh, all those uh, 30 years were wasted on studying laws that don't actually apply to the real world. Huh, I wonder if that could be it. She lied, made a statement. So now hey, well, hold on, Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, hold on. You, even though this is a different court and that's not my case, right. um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. I just want to advise you of your Fifth Amendment right again. So I, I suggest like not bringing up the other case. This case here is on the is on the uh, moped and the driving on a suspended license or, right. so or, or revoked license. Okay. Um, not so what I'm saying is you need time to prepare on that one. I I don't know what I don't know what the situation or status is of a domestic violence case, but um, you said that you're on a you're on bond. Um, well, you haven't posted your bond on that case. Is that what you're saying? Well, they, I'm not even sure. I think the, the judge said a monetary bond. I wasn't sure because she unprofessionally drew the thing away from, you know, the, do you want to call it this, uh, you know, the remote uh, Zoom thing away from the door before I could read to hear. But it's not like she told the, the police officer $2,000, but I'm not even sure. I got no money to pay a bond, no way, but even if it's a dollar. So. So, right, because they illegally deny my personal bond, this is why I'm still in here. So, but no, no, you're still in there because, well, you uh, didn't hear the judge, what the judge said that they were giving you a $2,000 bond for all the other things that you did. You know, you really need to learn to shut your mouth, pay attention, and listen to what. Other people are saying because you might miss out on some key information like you did before. I mean, come on now, dude. This is not rocket science, and it doesn't take a 30 year law expert to figure this out. But yeah, so all right. So, what I'll do is, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know when that case is next. Um, uh, the next day is that it's a state case. Ms. Van Reno, you don't have a, the, that case, right? I, okay, I don't so it must be a state. All right, and um, so that must be it. Must be a state case, which means it's on a Monday. Um, so that's probably going to be resolved within a month. So let me go ahead and set this for a jury trial. No, there will be uh, no need to set it for uh, a settlement conference before that. But let's well, get it. I won't touch up. I was going to object before you guys don't give me a chance to talk. Uh, object to like it should be. I, I moved that to be stayed. This this moped case to, till I get out of prison. I mean, till I get out of jail here. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs>
a dude, uh, the judge is not going to look at a motion unless you actually file the motion, unless you actually write it up and submit it in the proper fashion. Otherwise, it's not going to get looked at. It's not going to, uh, well, go through the proper procedures, including a uh, hearing over it. And then, well, they'll see if it uh, is valid or not. And if it is, they'll grant it. If not, they won't. For somebody who claims they've studied the law for over 30 years, you surely don't know anything about it now, do you? You are a legal idiot. I can prepare myself. I can't probably prepare myself. Wait, that's right. Listen. Athens to my legal Listen. Listen. authorities. Listen. 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 Nothing. It's me and Seth for a jury trial. Okay, okay. so when is that one? I, they didn't set it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set it for a jury trial, but if you're still in jail at that time, then I'll just adjourn it again so that you can prepare. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not worried about that. So, I mean, uh, but I can't do anything about your other case is what I'm saying. So I'm looking at, um, as far as a date right now, I just want to put a date on the books so that we know that you have an idea. I mean, if you get out tomorrow, then you'll know and then what your date is. Um, so I'm looking at, um, uh, let's see. And I don't have the availability to check with my clerk because my criminal clerk is out this week. Um, Your Honor, we so do. I'm, I'm, other jury, I'm sorry, Judge. We do have other jury trials scheduled on your docket on July 9th. I don't know if that's too soon. Uh, that's probably going to be, and it's only a couple of weeks away. So I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't know what his situation is. And even if he gets out in a week, that only gives him uh, a little bit of time. I want to make sure he has at least a couple yeah. weeks to. I mean, it's it's I a it's a driving it's a driving on a, re, a re restricted license, so it's not exactly a whole lot of prep time for for that it's not a it's not a homicide case but um so i'm looking at i'm looking at uh august 13th because i i, I really i'm trying to pick a date that's outside of probably where i'm already scheduling stuff at because i don't have my criminal clerk here to kind of check and see like where i'm at with things so we're going to set this for august 13th thank you your honor and i know that the uh We'll, we'll set that at 8 30 8 30 in the morning august 13th all right mr martin let the deputy know that um, you're all set and um we'll be mailing out the uh, notice to you sir thank right. you your honor all the best to you and your staff say, say again i still want to say to the prosecutors here uh dealing with this other case that i'm here for now hey moron they already went over this with you you don't talk about other cases they already went over this with you you don't talk about other cases in the middle of another freaking case. You are jeopardizing the integrity of your own case, which could really hinder you. But if you want to continue on, that's your issue. But they'll put a stop to it to make sure that you don't do it. I mean, like I said, for somebody who claims to have studied law for 30 years, you surely are one of the biggest law idiots out there. I request that not the same, not the same, not the same prosecutor, not the same Taylor, prosecutor. That's the Taylor same Taylor prosecutor. prosecutor. Other Taylor prosecutor. I, your other case? Are you talking about your other case? Your other case is a state case, so that's a Wayne County prosecutor's office. No, so not, the, not the city attorney. I'm talking about okay. the case I'm in here now. I want to um, notify the prosecutor that I want charges filed on Crystal Mark for bringing these falsified charges against me now. And also for assault and battery that I have on video camera for. Just so, you know what I mean? And she keeps bringing okay. this. Again, that's the other prosecutor. That's a different prosecutor's okay. officer. Because it's my right. equal protection right to bring charges to. They want to bring charges against me, but they don't have no way and I do. Hey, uh, Doofus, uh, what does that have to do with the equal protection clause of the Constitution? Because the equal protection clause states that the... Uh, Government has to treat everybody equally when uh, it comes to the law. Now, the officer did not break any laws when they arrested you. You were the one that were apparently breaking laws. So you were granted equal protection because anybody else would have been arrested for the same damn thing that you did, you bloody moron. So there is no arrest warrant issued for the arresting officer that got you. I mean, come on now, dude. You're barking up the wrong bloody tree.
And I should be okay. the one suffering here in jail as a lack of evidence. This is all right. And the unequal protection. Clause. And that's on your that's on your other that's on your other case, sir. So but um, it's it's still a right though. It's still my right to tell the prosecutors this and have them act on it. And if they so don't this isn't, it, that's this when it's by a defense. This isn't the proper for prosecutor. That's the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office on your other case. Okay. This is the uh, city attorney. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good rest of your day to you and your staff. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, Eric, uh, I have to say that I'm not exactly impressed with your uh, legal skills for somebody who claims to be a 30-year legal scholar. I mean, good freaking grief. Your ability to stay on track is piss poor at best. The relevance that any of your arguments have is very questionable. I mean, uh, you need to be able to uh, prove that there's some... Uh, the comparison between with your argument and your case. I mean, everything you saw talked about is well has nothing to do with your case, especially the other cases that have nothing to do with this particular case. And you're still trying to uh, endanger those cases by talking about them. And a legal scholar who knows the law, who actually knows the law, would know better than to do that. I mean, you are a complete moron. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah, I don't have to listen to anything. Thing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the post speed limit. Oh, no, I didn't tell it, you Yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Sure. Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.